Hi, I'm Dale. And I'm Michael. And welcome to Spotted Waters. Michael, what we're doing today? Finally got the gearbox back for the Fox Body Mustang. Uh, so we're going to shut the gearbox back now, aren't we? Yes, we are. We sure are. And it's been a long time coming, hasn't it? Yeah, yeah. Uh, totally. When I first bought the car, it was flaring up between gears. I had a bit of a gearbox leak on it as well. And I just didn't have much confidence with the gearbox itself. So, uh, yeah, we sent it off to Paul at Lagonda Garage. Uh, fine gentleman of a man. Did everything that I needed to do into the box and just give us a ton of information as well, yeah, which goes, is which goes is priceless. Extra mile, isn't it? Yeah. Very helpful as well. So yeah, top job. Top job. job. So yeah, that's the intro done. We'll get straight on with it. And uh, yeah, who knows? We don't know where we're going to get tonight, and uh, how, how much we're going to get done. Might be more beer drinking than actually wrenching, but we'll see how we get on. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do it, mate. And just like that. Gearbox is in. <laughs> Just like that, wasn't that hard, was it? No, uh, we'll be a bit pick much up here because it's a very, very nice sunny night. Uh, but the C4 is back mated to the 347 Cooper Ginch small block Ford. Uh, we wouldn't have done that on the floor, would we? No, no. The <laughs> ramp has been an absolute dream. But uh, yeah, still so got a lot to do. Might as well all the sort of the boxing in at the front end of the, and, and uh, all the, the wiring, oh. not the wiring, the plumbing and yeah, yeah they're coming in. Trans lines and what have you. And then we'll uh, obviously the prop to do. But uh, yeah, not bad. We've only been on it half an hour, haven't we? Yeah, we're we'll getting there, aren't we? So yeah, awesome. Flying. We'll keep going, we'll keep going. So, Michael Castle. Not a great start, really, was it? So that's the gearbox on the floor, isn't it? Gearbox is back. It hasn't there. fell off, so that, you know, <laughs> we're, not, we're not that bad. But the bell housing that originally was on this car was cracked. Yeah, we had a big crack right along the head, didn't it? Yeah, and then we still got the fan one, so we pinched that bell I was in there off our V6 Mustang. Yeah. Because it looked identical. Identical. Then we've put that box in with that bell I was in. in. Bolted the duct the engine, absolutely fine. Same, same pattern, same shape. Uh, but when we went to put the prop shaft on, the prop shaft didn't fit. The prop shaft was too long. And now we've found out by old, the, the old bellhousing up that this bellhousing is about 15 mil. Yeah. It's about 15 mil thicker there. And that's that's what we, that's all it is. That's all the clearance you need on a prop. So we couldn't we couldn't put that box back in with that prop like that because if you went over a bump it and smash it in the back Crash of the gearbox. Yeah. So, so we're now <laughs> we're back out. <laughs> and miraculously, <laughs> we have got another bellhousing because they ordered one. We've got yeah, another bell housing, <laughs> which was going to go back on the V6. So we took no chances and ordered one, didn't we? Yeah, because we needed one for the V6 because it was cracked. Yeah. <coughs> Luckily, that's the right one, Dale. So, do you know when we didn't record? I don't know if you can camera put that up. I hope. That one. Oh, Michael, yeah. Yeah, it is, isn't it? So, do you know we didn't do any recording of putting the gearbox in? We've, we've got a second chance, mate. <laughs> Well, it's not a night of a Sunday morning. <laughs> <laughs> might have to <laughs> be part, continued tomorrow. This is, going to, this is going to be a part two, maybe. We might three. bolt it back in. We'll see, yeah, 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 let's let's just get on. See how we get on there. Yeah. Right. We're not defeated. We're not defeated, we're spotted motors. <laughs> <laughs> so a matter of minutes since <laughs> we spoke last. Yeah. And we've got two bell housings and the bell housing that we we have bought. Yeah, it's for a smaller flex plate, so it doesn't actually go over Dale's flex plate. So we're going to put. <laughs> we're like wasting time. We're going to put that in the gearbox. We just took out our bell the back in and get the prop shaft shortened, aren't we? Yes. Get the prop shaft shortened to suit the car. <laughs> so let's bolt that back on. And put the gearbox back in. <laughs> right. Should we start the video again? Hi, and like just say, oh look, we know what we're doing here. It's a good job we don't uh, hide things. Isn't it? No, no, this is how it is. We know we're not we're not bluffers, are we, Michael? <laughs> <laughs> right. I was happy just making an exhaust bracket, you know that. <laughs> Michael Castle. <laughs> Am I in? Are we still laughing or we crying? I'm laughing. No, we're laughing, aren't we? We're laughing. <laughs> so, we did say when we started this channel, no flashing lights, no music, no messing about, just God's honest truth and uh, raw footage. And that's what you've got tonight, I think. Yeah, uh, exactly. Not much has gone on apart from we did a bit of uh, 
gearbox you know twice yeah if, <laughs> if there was no hockey championship for taking gearboxes in now i think we'd have won it tonight in out in out uh so yeah basically michael i think you're better off explaining than what i'm just more technically man minded than me yeah so we, well like you've already said about the bellhouses but we've had to put the bigger bellhouses on back in because it clears your flex plate yes and um, so we put the, the, the it's slightly deeper so it pushes the gearbox back in the car which in turn makes the prop shaft the old prop shaft too long yeah so we're gonna have to get that shortened uh, and also check the top convert space now as well aren't yeah because we? obviously that could be not engaging the pump as much yeah so yeah we've got a bit of figuring out a bit of measuring to do but with the boxes bolted back in so and we obviously <laughs> thought that this video was going to be us doing exactly what we've just done there and then a fire up yeah, did, did, did. that was a plan tonight, yeah. yeah. But this just goes to show it doesn't always go for the plan. And no. it never in fact it never does. <laughs> we were gonna do part one and a part two, but we thought, do you know what, let's just we don't know how long it's gonna take and messing about and messing up and that. So let's just get this done, get this out there. Everyone yeah. knows where we're at with the fox body. So you could call this part one. Yeah. Part two is boxing up yeah. and uh, big smoky burn up. Yeah, it's gonna to have to be, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Although Paul did say bed bed the clutches in. So <laughs> So there you go, uh, the Fox Buddy is still uh, not a turn of wheel on the track, but we're hoping to change that. And uh, yeah, we've got two weeks to get our fingers out. Both guys are booked into the show, Big and shows. we are itching to drive and go for it, we? Because we've very, the cars have done very little mileage next to each other, yeah, yeah, very little. Very, yeah. So, if we're lucky. Yeah. <laughs> so we are going to push over the next two weeks to get both cars uh, road ready. If yeah. not track ready, road ready. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. Awesome. Spot on. Right, we'll leave it as that. So if that's not a good reason to subscribe, I don't know what it is. Uh, <laughs> and thanks for everyone that has subscribed. Thanks for everyone watching. Thanks for all the comments. Thanks for all the likes. Me and Michael are going home, get showers and uh, drink beer. Yeah. Separately. I just like that. <laughs> Uh, so as always, thanks very much for watching. We've been spotted waters. Is it a five kind of night? Yeah. <laughs>